format of the apocalypse, the locusts, and everything. It is that, yep. It is that, yep. That's a concern there. It seems as though every time we get so close to the Dead Sea, we hear all of these horror stories about the format of the apocalypse, the locusts, and everything. It is that, yep. It is that, yep. It is that, yep. All praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham HaRukah Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which taught us the truth, and Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Shalom. All right, so this is Pelosi, which she's the head of the state. I believe that's her position. No, actually, she's the uh, Speaker of the House. Salakia. She's the Speaker of the House, all right? And she said that it was the apocalypse. That's a concern there. It seems as though every time we get so close to the Dead Sea, we hear all of these horror stories about the format of the apocalypse, the locusts, and everything. It is that, yep. It is that, yep. It is that, yep. All right, so this is from the conversation. What does the Speaker of the House do? All right, it says, second in line of presidential succession. So she's right under the vice president. After the vice president, the Speaker company, uh, occupies a central role in our national government. Most people think the speakership is a party office. It's not. The speaker is selected by the full House membership through the majority party's voting. Power ensures that the role is occupied by one of their own. First, I'm going to jump down. First, they are the most visible and authoritative spokesperson for the majority party in the house so she's the mouth that represents the majority of the house all right i'm gonna jump down to the second second the speaker manages business on the floor and navigates legislative rules rules structuring house debate in a way that will advantage their legislative priorities Third, the speaker oversees everything from accounting to procurement for the house. All right. So the, she's a very important lady to the United States government. And she's a Roman Edomite. All right. At Pelosi. All right. Nancy Pelosi. Nancy means a feminine man. And Pelosi. I looked it up before. I know it goes back to Rome, though. Which means Harry. It says... Yeah, Pelosi, Harry... So her name literally means uh, a hairy, feminine man. All right. And she's a Roman. Which she wears a, a pin. Which shows that she's a witch. Let's see if I can find it on here. This one here. See the pin? It's a staff with a globe, and there's an eagle on top of the globe. The wicked rule the world, and uh, the staff representing their leadership and witchcraft. All right. There's a better picture of it. Okay. The wicked rule the world, Job 9.24. And the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked. Isaiah 14. All right. And that's why you hear her saying that it is the apocalypse. 
And he said the four horsemen of the apocalypse, which is leading up to the destruction of the wicked. All right. But I wanted to get this here about the apocalypse. What you don't understand is the apocalypse is the revelations. All right. It says here, Revelation 1, verse 1, the revelation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, which is the true Messiah, as he is written, which Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John who bear record of the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai, and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, which is prophecy, and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Just like Nancy Pelosi said, the Speaker of the House, it is the apocalypse, all right? And it is. These prophecies are coming forth and taking place in our generation because it is the apocalypse of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. See right there, when you go into the word revelation, the English is the revelation. And when you go into the word in the Greek, Strong's G602, Apocalypsis. Where you get apocalypse. It is the ap apocalypse. All right. See, it says laying bare, which is the revealing, making naked, a disclosure of truth, instruction concerning things before unknown. All right. Used of events by which things or states or persons hereto withdrawn from view are made visible to all manifestation appearance, which this is the appearance of Yahweh HaMashiach, the true Messiah, as it is written, all right? And he's coming in the glory of his father, and he's going to judge the wicked, which are the Edomites, the so-called Caucasians, and them that do wickedly including two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Now I'm going to jump to Revelation 3. And when you see red letter like this in the Bible, it's the Messiah's word. This is uh, Revelation 3, verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, which is this power of prophecy that no man take thy crown, because we know what the the things that are to take place. All right, him that overcometh will I make a pillar. And what do we got to overcome? We got to overcome the devil, the so-called white man, the wicked. His name is Esau Edom, and he's gonna make the implantable microchip mandatory for buying and selling, so that he could destroy you. It says. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, pertaining to the hopeful elect, 144,000 elect men of the nation of Israel. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which have been scattered throughout the world of slavery which cometh down out of heaven from my power. That's how we're going to be saved because it's going to be nuclear destruction on America. We're going to be taken up to Yahweh Shai, which he's going to be in on the chariot, the so-called UFO. And I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Now I'm going to jump down, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door to be revealed and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, and how do you hear his voice? is through the prophets. 
I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. And this is why we give double honors to our apostles and elders. This is the way that we heard the voice of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. And we received him, and now he sups with us, and that's why we're prophesying. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. The throne is the so called UFO. Even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. That's why when Yahweh Shai was crucified, died, and resurrected, it says that he was uh, uh, taken up into a cloud. The cloud isn't a puffy white cloud which rain falls from. It was a chariot, a so-called UFO. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And that's who it's for. It's for them that have faith. If you don't have faith, it don't matter what you believe. <clears throat> You're going to believe when he's revealed. To the world, all right, which is going to happen after they make that implantable microchip mandatory for buying and selling. Matthew 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, after they make that implantable microchip mandatory for buying and selling, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, which is going to go into nuclear war. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, on top of a chariot. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, which is the chariots of heaven, with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. All right? Let's go into the interlinear on that word clouds. See, it says, used of the cloud which led the Israelites in the wilderness. 